Hi guys, welcome to the garden. We're up here in Georgetown, Colorado, and Ken's gonna share his gardening knowledge with you. Hello everyone, welcome to the garden. We've picked a nice sunny day to be out and about and show you what is growing in the garden since we can't all meet for our monthly meetings with the CSU Extension Services. Today we're at the Heritage Center in the demonstration garden and even though we're being very careful with social distancing, the garden is open. If you're out walking, you can wander through. Today we wanted to focus on perennials that are native to Colorado because this particular variety has a tendency to require less water, less fertilizer, and generally less attention. However, that being said, they do better if they're watered and fertilized and pruned. And today, we would like to focus on pruning the red twigged dogwood to make the plant more vigorous and keep it looking vital and green and lovely during the summer. Okay, so here we are. These are red twigged dogwood. They're a beautiful foliage plant that grows here in the Rocky Mountains. They will continue to grow and do well with very little care. But some of these are getting to be old canes and need to go to increase the vigor of the other branches that are coming out of here. So today I brought my trusty loppers and I'm going to trim this one large branch um, and remove it. Plants generally will thrive if you remove up to one third of the branches. And let me take this one out. I'm going close to the base and I'm going to do snip. Here is the branch. As you can see, this was very thick and very healthy. These side branches were very thick and very healthy, but this newer growth is very thin and kind of spindly. This is another old branch. This has a growth coming off the bottom of it. So this one, I'm going to cut ahead of that growth. Usually half an inch of trunk left is recommended to be made above the, the growth of the other one to allow for dieback. And this branch, once again, we can diagram and see, this was the original trunk. It was eaten off up here. The branches came off down below. They were eaten off. And all of these other lateral growths have grown from there. Okay, so we've done most of the big pruning that we're going to do. Now I'd like to do a little bit of shaping because some of these branches are overlapping someone else's property. The recommendations for red twigged dogwood is to leave two lateral nodes to the shrub before you prune. And so here we're going to cut about half an inch, three quarters of an inch above those top buds. The reason for doing that is to keep the energy in the xylem and cambrium layers of the tissue feeding those buds so they go ahead and grow and they will put out two or possibly four new lateral growths like this one. If you're trying to prune your bush and keep it small, remove the center branch that is dead and look for the laterals and decide which one creates a better shape for you and then remove one side lateral since the others are doing well and have good growth. Okay, that's going to be as much shaping as we're going to do on this one. But if some of these things are just being ungainly and you don't like the look at it and you want a more compact bush, you just count the 
nodes. One, two, cut. And this will send the energy out of those and create new growths for you that will make your plant look healthy. One, two, cut. It's advisable for any pruning that you do, if you're not used to doing it, to go read about the specific plant that you wish to prune and find out about its growth habits.